Hey there, in today's video we're going to talk about how to do keyword research for your niche site and how to rank number one on Google. Okay, let's get started. I'm Gary Baker with 30minutemarketing.net and today I want to show you three free tools to do this niche research and how to get to that number one ranking on Google. Okay, so first things first, the tools. First tool I'm going to show you is a tool called Keywords Everywhere. So of course the link will be in the description to get this tool. This is actually an extension for Chrome and Firefox, so you can just download that and then uh, you have to uh, go here. They have instructions for getting an API key to set all that up and that will install right in, for example, I'm in Chrome, so you can see here it's a little Chrome extension, get that installed and let me just show you what that looks like real quick. So once you get that installed, what you'll have here is on your uh, right side, specifically I'm showing you in Chrome. Uh, it might look a little different in Firefox, but I believe it's the same. You'll have these related keywords, and you can see here the keyword suggestions, and then of course they're going to talk about volume and CPC. Now that's going to be uh, cost per click, and that's getting more into the paid side of keywords. This video is about keyword research, uh, organic or better known as free keywords that you'll get through uh, search engine results. So main one obviously being Google, but of course that would be being in Yahoo as well. So that's the first tool. First tool being the Chrome extension or the Firefox extension keywords everywhere. Very good tool. Uh, the second tool that I want to show you is a tool by Neil Patel. It's called Uber Suggest. And this is free. Now this is going to be sort of in the realm of, it doesn't have all the capabilities, but in the realm of your Hrefs, your SEM Rush tools like that, that uh, that are really kind of pricey. That a lot of people that are quote unquote SEOs, people that do SEO for a living, that actually do all aspects of SEO, technical and on you know on page SEO, and really dig into uh, search engine optimization for big websites and big businesses. Of course, that applies to niche websites as well. But this video and sort of 30 minute marketing is more about the how to do it, how to do it yourself. Of course, myself as a part-time marketer, 30, which I call a 30-minute marketer, uh, is about intense focus and using the tools that are readily available for you. Okay, so the third tool, which is probably obvious but not so obvious, is Google itself. Just using Google to do keyword keyword research. And one of the things that I want to talk about in this video, and I sort of want to step away from the concept of keyword research when talking about doing SEO and ranking on Google for number one, specifically for niche sites, which uh, just in the idea and the concept of a niche site itself being a smaller site where you're specifically niche down, not just in, in the idea of the topic where you're talking about one specific topic, but you're answering specific questions to that topic. Okay, so let me explain. Let me dig a little deeper. So now that we've covered the three tools, uh, keywords anywhere, uh, Neil Patel's Uber Suggest, and Google, of course, there'll be links in the description to all these tools so you can get to it. So now let's get into the actual concept and the idea of ranking number one, doing your keyword research, but thinking of keyword research a little different and actually using a little different terminology. Thinking about satisfying searcher intent. Okay, let me say that again so you understand. Satisfying searcher intent is the key to ranking number one on Google. People are go to Google to ask to ask questions, right? Google is even a verb, so people tell you to, hey, I wonder why you do this, right? I wonder how you how you do that. Well, go Google it, right? Google it. Ask Google the question. Satisfy searcher intent. The searcher is is searching for an answer to a question, so you want to satisfy, right? That searcher's intent. What, what their question is about. You want to give them the best answer you can. That's how you get and you stay number one on Google. Okay, so let's jump into Uber Suggest real quick. And I use Neil Patel here as an example. And the reason I wanted to put Neil Patel's site on his tool is to just show you sort of to get away from this idea as Neil Patel's website, right? He's an authority in internet marketing. So as you can see, he has huge amounts of organic keywords. Uh, his uh, traffic volume is enormous, right? Obviously, his domain score is phenomenal. He has crazy amounts of backlinks, okay? 
So, but as a 30 minute marketer, just getting started trying to get your niche site ranked number one on Google, you want to satisfy that searcher intent. So this tool is going to give you uh, SEO keywords. So for example, he ranks for keywords like ultimate guide, video conversions, Google search, Google adverts. Then he, there's some weird like Reddit, YouTube, but it's kind of weird how it's broken up here. Conversion metrics, right? You're not going to rank for these keywords on the first page of Google. You're not going to beat his domain score. You're not going to beat his amount of backlinks, right? Not today. So what do we do to offset that, to get our page, right? To get satisfied searcher intent for the people that are looking for the questions that we're answering, okay? You do a thing, uh, and inside of keyword research, this thing is called long tail keywords, right? You're, sat, you're actually answering the longer, the longer the phrase is that people type into Google, and I'll show you that here in a second, but I want to show you 30minutemarketing.net as compared to Neil Patel's website inside of uh, Uber Suggest, Neil Patel's tool. As you can see here, currently 30minutemarketing.net is only ranking for 50 organic keywords. But you can see the traffic here, while this is nothing to write home about, right? But it's still, it's organic search. It's organic search for keywords. As you can see, my domain score at 23 backlinks, okay? So, and as you can see, these, these rankings are going up each and every month as I add more content and as I satisfy searcher intent, as I do my keyword research to satisfy the searcher's intent, to satisfy the searcher's need, the, you know, their, their hunt for, for answers to their questions, okay? So you can see the keywords here that I'm ranking for, and one of those is Funnelytics Reviews. You can see right here, Funnelytics Reviews, Funnelytics Review, Funnelytics Pro. Funnelytics is a tool that I've actually covered in a video here on the YouTube channel, uh, and you can see that here on the channel, and I'll put one of those little cards up here so you can take a look at that if you want to, if you have time. But not to lose focus on this, let me show you what how this works, right? So this, this keyword, this keyword tool, or Neil Patel's all-encompassing uh, SEO tool is showing you that 30minutemarketing.net ranks for Funnelytics Review. So what do we do? We go to Google and we type in Funnelytics Review. Because the thing is, is people, when they're looking for Funnelytics or they have an idea about Funnelytics, they're going to go to Google and they're going to say, hey, I'm looking for Funnelytics. And just a quick side note, not to get sidetracked, uh, but see this little... Uh, number here and this little uh, dollar sign. So Funnelytics, the keyword Funnelytics itself has a search volume of about 2400 a month and it's almost five dollars to get a click. So inside of Google if you were to pay for this like a Google Ads for pay-per-click you it would cost you about five dollars to win that click. So that's keywords, uh, keywords everywhere tool uh, that you see there and you can see right here it's the same kind of thing so that's the keywords tool but I don't want you to uh, again get sidetracked and confused because it's very simple when you're talking about pay-per-click keyword research actually paying for ads versus the more organic research that I'm talking about here and the these free methods and this sort of this idea of satisfying search or intent so again we're talking about 30 minute marketing.net and funnelytics so if you were just go in and type in funnelytics which is Obviously, funnelytics.io is the website. Again, this is a tool, and this is their domain name, so they're going to rank number one. Okay? But as you can see, like right here, 30 Minute Marketing, my YouTube channel, which YouTube search and Google search, kind of sort of the same, but not really. Uh, again, I don't want to get off onto that tangent, but you can see my videos here for Funnelytics Pro Review, but I'm not on the f first page for the, for the keyword Funnelytics. Okay? But if you were to go in and you were to go in and type in Funnelytics Review, okay, so now you have that uh, long, that more long tail keyword, right? You added more keywords, so additional words, so to, to satisfy the searcher intent. They're not just looking for Funnelytics, they're looking for a review on Funnelytics, okay? So again, Funnelytics Review, you can see this person here in first place. Uh, my video is still in first place. But if you keep going down here, you'll see that I am on the first page of Google for Funnelytics Pro Review. Now, I actually titled my uh, review as Funnelytics Pro Review, and you saw inside of the Uber Suggest tool that I'm ranking uh, for Funnelytics Pro in the uh, in the tenth position and Funnelytics Review in the tenth in the tenth position. So, but when you actually go to Google and you start doing this uh, 
you know, keyword research at Google as a tool itself, these results will kind of change and, and be weird depending, depending on the display, the way Google displays the search results. So in this case, they have a snippet, which is, you know, just a little bit of a piece of the actual review that they display, that they highlight on the on the search results, as well as he also won the first place. So really, he's he's zero and one, right? So he's first. He's first in the snippet, and he's first in the review. He's first in the links. So, but again, the idea, the concept here is people aren't just looking for funnel analytics; they're looking for funnel analytics review. Okay. That, now that that's clear about long tail keywords, looking for funnel analytics versus funnel analytics review, let's move on to a different key to a different keyword and a, and something that'll probably make more sense versus just funnel analytics. I wanted to highlight that inside of 30 minute marketing.net to show you the Uber Suggest and the keywords tool and the way that you can rank for something on the first page that you may not think that you can rank for. Okay, just when you're getting started. Okay, so for example, let's use a niche like go karts. Okay, because you may be thinking, well. Go karts. What am I going to write about go karts? Because if you were to just type go karts, as you can see here, the tool Google itself is giving you suggestions. So when you're doing keyword research, Google is giving you suggestions suggestions for the things that people are searching for. So of course, with keywords anywhere, you can see that uh, the search in 30, 30, uh, 368,000 per month at 52 cents, right? So if you were paying for an ad to for someone to click on your ad for go-karts, that's what it would cost you. But step back again, and let's sort of change this mindset, change this idea of keyword research when we're talking about building a niche blog. So I'm going to build a niche blog on go-karts. So I want to think to myself, people aren't just going to Google and typing in go-karts. Now they are, but they're going to Google and asking a question, right? So how do I build a go-kart? right and you're seeing right here from scratch right so how do I build a go-kart from scratch so you click on that and you'll see right here you'll see all these websites here talking about how to design and build a go-kart from scratch of course key related keywords are over here how to build a cheap go-kart how to build a go-kart frame without welding that would be a, a fantastic one in my opinion right so if you're starting out a website say for example now Welding is a completely different thing when it comes to the idea of someone wanting to build a go-kart, okay? So someone wants to build a go-kart, and they're like, oh, man, I can't build a go-kart welding. So, for example, I grew up in Arkansas. I took shop, and we learned how to weld. So I know how to arc weld, which is electric welding. I also know how to gas weld. So you're talking about two things that most people are never going to be exposed to, and most people are never going to have any interest in whatsoever. So... But they but they do want go karts, so they want to build a go kart with their with their kids, right? But they want to do it without welding. So there you go, right? This gave you a perfect example of how do I build a go kart? How do I build a go kart from scratch? How do I build a go kart without welding? Right there. Now you've done some keyword research, and you know people are going to be asking those questions because even Google itself tells you that about 32 million people search for how to build a go kart from scratch. Now don't take that lightly. That people are searching for how to build a go-kart from scratch so once you google that and then you do your research and you go and you look at these one of these is wiki and then hobby lark so these aren't even until down here cartfab.com most likely is niched down to just be about go-karts so you would write an article how to build a go-kart from scratch right or how to build a go-kart without welding as you can see right here the drop down it's even how to make a go-kart easy how to build a go-kart frame without welding uh, how to build a wooden go-kart step by step I think you're seeing the power of Google itself as a tool to do keyword research and rank number one on Google okay so I showed you how I rank 30 minute marketing dot net for keywords for example funnelytics not funnelytics but funnelytics review okay so let me show you a a different one here uh, Undeniable Vision is a website I have. Now, this is a niche website in uh, self-development, okay? So, is it better to dream big or be realistic, okay? Now, this was, this blog post was December 23rd, 2018. So, if you go into Google and you type that in, is it better to dream big or be realistic? You can see right here that is it better to dream big 
Right? So then I said, okay, or be realistic. So if you click on that, is it better to dream big or be realistic? As you can see, the keyword uh, uh, keywords everywhere tool, again, for click, no one is actually, according to the result of Google Search Console, no one is paying for that click, okay? So, but I still rank for number one, and as you can see here, Google is telling me about this many people are looking for this result. They're trying to answer this question because they're thinking to themselves, you know what, I wonder, is it better to really, I mean, really, is it better to dream big or just be realistic? So people are going to type that in. It's going to drive traffic because I'm number one on Google, okay? So that's just the idea, the concept. I want to make sure that you are aware of the tools again. That is uh, Keywords Everywhere, which is a Chrome extension. Uh, Neil Patel's Uber Suggest gives you tons and tons of details without having to spend a lot of money. And this is a new tool that he's working on, and he's adding things in here even to like backlinks, so you can do backlink research because backlinks are going to be a key component and it's something you're going to need to get to down the road but this is very very specific on how to rank number one for your niche site starting out by creating that great content with those very specific long tail keywords satisfying that searcher intent okay that's really what I want to drive home with the tools uh, keywords anywhere uber suggest and Google itself and generating answers to questions satisfying that searcher intent for real things that real people are looking for on Google, okay? Don't get caught up in all this, oh, I gotta do all this stuff with SEO, does it make money, is it, right? Answer the questions that people are looking for. That's what a niche is about. A niche is about finding that one thing, right, that you want to write about, that people want to learn about, that that you can answer their questions and you can do it well. You can do it better than everyone else, even with millions of people searching for it on Google, all right? Hope that was helpful. Again, all the links will be in the description. Uh, trying not to ramble on here, but I'm really trying to drive home and sort of change the mindset of keyword research more into answering those questions for people, helping people out, using Google, the free resources that you have, and taking action and moving forward. All right. Again, this is Gary Baker with 30MinuteMarketing.net. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, uh, give me a thumbs up like subscribe leave a comment ask a question i'll do my best to answer it and i'll talk to you guys later all right bye